Hey guys, it's Brianna. And today I have a book haul slash unboxing. I originally wanted to do an entire unboxing for this, but I couldn't control my excitement. Um, my birthday was this past Wednesday, which was April 30th, and I got two $50 Amazon gift cards, so I had $100 to spend on Amazon. So with that, I got 12 books, so um, this is the first 10 books. One of them was a pre-order, which I'll get towards the end of the month, and one's just going to come whenever it comes. I'm going to show you the books that I've already unboxed and everything because I literally could not control my excitement and I just wanted them opened, but yeah, um, yeah. The first one I got is My Life, or My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Um, the newest one, um, which I'm completely blanking out on the name of the book, but another book by her just came out, and I've been hearing a lot, a lot, a lot of good things about this book. Um, I tried to get it hardcover, but it was actually cheaper if I just got the um, paperback and that way I can get more books with my hundred dollars so I just went ahead and got the paperback edition but yeah I'm really excited to read this book I'm really into contemporary lately so hopefully I'll get to this one sometime this summer because it is based during the summer so let's hope I get it done the next one I have is highly 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 hyped up on booktube um, I may not read it until the hype kind of dies down a little bit because it, I'm not kidding you when I tell you this is like one of the most hyped up books and it is Thorn of Glass by Sarah J Moss. I got the hardcover because I wanted them all to be the same height, like same everything so I went ahead and got the hardback and it was only like $10 for the hardback so I mean it was worth it. But yeah, I'm really, really, really excited to read this. I've been hearing literally nothing but absolute amazing things, and I, I just can't wait to read it. The next book I got was actually a used copy from Amazon, and when I got it, it was really dirty, and there was previous stickers from it, so I knew it came from Walmart, which is not that big of a deal. But anyway, and the pages are yellow, which again, doesn't bother me, but the book was really, really dirty. And it is The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. This, um, the final book, which is The Forever Song, literally just came out like a week ago, I want to say, or maybe two weeks by now. But yeah, um, if you can't see, the pages are extremely yellow. And yeah, um, the book is kind of flimsy now, maybe because of the previous owner. But it's still put together very well. And it's still holding on, but I am very, very, very excited to read this because it's vampires. And if you know me at all, I love vampires. It's definitely one of my favorite genres, especially the paranormal genre. So I'm really excited to see what I think of this series. So, yeah. Next, I have a favorite of, if you know him, I'm sure you do because he's a very popular booktuber. But Jesse the Reader, this is one of his favorite authors and favorite series. And the book I'm talking about is... The Archives by Victoria Schwab. Um, literally because of him is the reason why I got this book. He hypes this book up like no other. Victoria Schwab is one of his favorite authors and this book just sounds really really interesting and I can't wait to see what I think of it. The next book I have is one of my favorite authors which if you can't tell the shelf is literally right behind me right here. So now you know what author I'm talking about, but it is Jennifer Armachow. I've made it my mission by the end of 2014 that I will be caught up with her books. And if you know her, she has a lot of books and she is constantly publishing books. And the one series that I have not started yet is Half Blood by her. And um, I've been hearing that this series is very similar to Vampire Academy. I don't think it is vampires though. But it, the premise and stuff is very similar. It may be Vampires, I'm not sure. But to hear that it's very similar to Vampire Academy only excites me even more. And the fact that Jennifer Armachow wrote it, I already know I'm going to love it. Because literally everything I've read, I've absolutely loved. So I'm really excited to see what I think of this. The next book I got is another, is another contemporary series that's really hyped up on BookTube that pretty much everyone's already read. Except for me, as usual. 
but it is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Um, several months ago, I want to say maybe October, I bought Lola and the Boy Next Door. I just happened to find it at Half Price Books, so I went ahead and picked it up because it was only like $4. So I went ahead and got it, but I finally got Anna and the French Kiss. So I'm really excited to read this because I've been hearing a lot, a lot of good things about them. And I wanted all the covers to match, so I got the new covers. That way, when the third book comes out, I'll have them all matching. But yeah, I'm really excited to read this book, and I hope to, that I get to it soon. The next book I have is a, I think it's new adult, I want to say. But she is a very highly recommended new adult author. And I'm trying to get into new, more new adult because I've been obsessing with new adult the last couple months, I want to say. And the book I'm talking about is Breathe by Abby Glines. She is one of those authors in the new adult genre that is basically recommended to read. Um, I also own, I think it's The Vincent Brothers. I own that also, but of course I have not read it. But... I've been hearing a lot, a lot of good things about all of Abby Glein's books, and I'm really excited to see what I think of this. The last book I have before I do an unboxing is one of my favorite trilogies, and I can't believe it's almost over. I'm kind of, I'm really sad to end this trilogy, but I'm really, really excited to see what happens. And the series, or the trilogy I am talking about is Sweet Evil, and this one is Sweet Reckoning by Wendy Higgins. This is the last book in the trilogy. I, guys, you have no idea how much I love this series. So good. So, so good. Um, the main character, Anna, is very le relatable to me, and the fact that she literally has half of my name, it's, it's just that more amazing to me. But I cannot wait to see what happens, and I am not ready to let this trilogy go. But, yeah. So now on to the unboxing. I have... Two packages right here, and I'm pretty sure I know the books that are in this because I got the Amazon confirmation thing. So, but I don't know which book is which. So let's go ahead and open them. They put a lot of stickers on this one. Okay, the book I have is Losing It by Cora Carmack. This is also another new adult author that I should be checking out. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this series, and it just looks really interesting. And Jennifer L. Armitage is blurbed on the front, so that makes me even more excited to read it. But yeah, I'm really excited to see what I think of this. And there's this last one, which I think I already know what it is. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but let's go ahead and open it anyway. The next book that I have is Slammed by Colleen Hoover. This is again another new adult book that I should be checking out. Um, I've been hearing a lot, a lot, a lot of good things about this series. Um, I have been trying to find this book for several months now and each time I would add it to my basket, take it off. I think it was on Book Outlet at one point or maybe it was some of the sequels, I'm not sure. but. I was like, I have $100 to spend, and this should definitely be in my cart. So I went ahead and got it, and I cannot wait to read this. So yeah, that is it for my book haul. So I will either see you in my next video, or see you in a minute. Bye!